Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, this is my son Ben, and today we have a wonderful piece of work from Ireland, the Middleton Very Rare. Middleton? Uh, we've been to Middleton, right? Yeah, that was right. the one with the water wheel. Uh, I think they all yes. had a water wheel. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still turning, the water wheel, and from that distillery the, the whiskey received its name. And there is a video online about I think that, that was your first distillery video, video that you yes. ever did. Yeah. So. <laughs> and I was a cameraman. <laughs> and it was really bad cameraman work. <laughs> yes. But the whiskey presented there was excellent. And the Middleton, very rare we have here, is, well, the top brand of the distillery. Uh, which is located close by, but today it's a big one. Uh, and the the video was taken in the old distillery, which is already closed for a long time. And uh, the Middleton Very Rare is on the market for a very, very long time. And if I remember right, they typically had 50 casks specially selected. And those 50 casks were mixed together into a, a blend. And that was the best one for the year from the Middleton. Mm -hmm. distillery and this was moved on and moved on moved further so there is in the distillery uh, venue uh, you have a, a row of bottles from all the years so it's wonderful looking and uh, well I had the first impact with that whiskey I think in 1995 something and then it was really really expensive and today prices haven't gone that much up, but the uh, the wooden box here exploded in in complexity and, and wonderful, wonderfully made, and it's uh, covered by this uh, cotton Good. silky something, and there's a special box around that. So if if you buy one of these, they they're really transported very securely yeah and with this uh, wooden box there's another interior in it and uh, double opening and the bottle is a new one today uh, since a few years and uh, there's a certificate uh, in that box as well and uh, today the master still is Brian Nation and uh, I was able to talked to Barry Crockett then, which was the old master distiller, who uh, I think established this one. And then there was for a small time, for a short period, there was a uh, Middleton Barry Crockett bottle on the market, I think. Yeah, I think so. This was the very, very top of it. And this is a wonderful bottle, thick bottom, uh, and a notch in here in the middle, yeah, and established 1825. Yeah. Okay, here's a certificate of uh, authenticity or something. Like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, authenticity. And uh, Brian Nation said first that this is that he had selected uh, the the finest and rarest whiskies to create this bottle. So typically the same rare. process as it was to select out the best casks from mm -hmm. here. Uh, this is, this carries no age statement. It carries the bottling date, 2019, this bottle. So if you see this video in a few years, there will be the successors of these bottles on the market, but they are selected by the same uh, values. Method, yeah. By Brian nation very good cork wooden stopper this is better to pour from than thought yeah do we have the the cask more in front now no i just it's turned it up a little dark. bit yeah so Stands up here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I need to install more lights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A spotlight on the bottle. Hmm. A spotlight, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. 40%, so no need to. 
Dr. Lut. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, it's a complex, fruity, silky note, lightly sweet, but as well, little spiciness, so Christmas cake spiciness, cloves, cinnamon, nutmeg, and the fruitiness is light, it's pear, apple, probably a little bit, a little bit exotic as well. Wonderfully complex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, it's it's definitely what you said, light fruitiness. That's the first thing you get in your nose, the a light pear and uh, maybe a bit of a green apple and then followed by a bit of oak combined with all these uh, spices, nutmeg. Mm, oh, there's that a little bit of ginger as well. Or is that maybe a bit of the fruitiness? I'm not quite sure. But there's a whole bunch going on. Cloves. Oh, yeah. And also some some uh, some herbs. Mm -hmm. Is it rosemary? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, like a bunch of herbs as well. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it takes a few seconds and then it spreads in your mouth. You have a, a juiciness, a fruity juiciness, and uh, combined with a light pot, st pot still spiciness, and the oakiness is there. It's not bitter or not very bitter, probably a lightly bitterness, but most of it is oakiness, is spiciness from the oak. Very friendly, smooth, long lasting, taking you away. Some cereals in the back. Yeah, and the aftertaste is uh, well, well balanced with no specific oakiness or something in, in the aftertaste, no. Mm -hmm. mm. It's, yeah, it's a wonderful balance. So um, I think he did a, the right choice with the, the cask because you have, on the one side, you still have a bit of that fresh fruit thing going on and some juiciness even going on. On the other side, you have a good amount of um, oak, you have a good amount of, um, Mm. spices but I think the spices are pretty mild if if you say mm, cinnamon nutmeg they are they're just I don't know covering around in your mouth and not attacking you right away uh -huh. so it's uh, yeah. it's a wonderfully balanced whiskey smooth, and complex smooth yeah. friendly yeah cheers mm, cheers mm-hmm mm. Mm. I see why he does say um, they're the best cars they have, because they are they are exceptionally well. Mm -hmm. And it's dangerously sipping, mm -hmm. so be careful. Mm -hmm. This is wonderful. Uh, now, now that on the second sip, the spiciness adds up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So mm, more, but more. but not bitterness, not attacking. Yep. It's just building up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you do realize it's 40%. The intensity comes from the from mm -hmm. the oak and the spiciness mm -hmm. and the, the fruitiness and all the other flavors there are just there floating around and not attacking you right mm -hmm. away. The intensity with the the rest that is not spiciness and oakiness is uh, mildly. Probably mm. a little bit of honey mm. and in the aftertaste a little nuttiness. So probably some sherry casts in it. Mm. Yeah, wonderful work. 
Yeah, wonderful Highly work. Highly recommended. And well, it's uh, above 100, 120, 130 euros, dollars, pounds. So it's not that cheap, but it's the top brand from the distillery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, a nice whiskey. A little bit expensive though, <laughs> so only buy it if you can really afford it now. But uh, otherwise, I think we can do recommended. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.